Hey guys, Justin at Vintage 55 Restorations here, another episode of Vintage 55 Garage. And I got another trailer for you. This is our 1958 Silver Streak Jet. And it's actually gonna be up for sale, I think Monday. If you're watching this in the past, it's probably gone. Like all our other trailers that disappear. And all of our other trailers that we say are gonna be our forever trailers. This is supposed to be our forever trailer. I don't think we'll ever actually keep a trailer. But anyway, 1958 Silver Streak Jet. This is actually the first riveted uh, aluminum framed one that I've done. You, I mean, Airstream, Silver Streak, uh, Avions, all those. Those are all different, kind of a different beast than the regular can hams that I do. But uh, just a quick, uh, quick walk around video and history video. Got my notes. So Silver Streak Jet, that's a 19 foot. That would be what the jet was. There's a, a little emblem on the front that tells you that it's a jet, but you can also just measure it. But these little plastic emblems, you know, if they're broken, they're broken, they're gone. But the uh, Silver Streak jet was, uh, came in two different configurations inside with or without a bathroom. And you wanna be on film, huh? What? No, go over there. <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't right there. Uh, Silver Streak, the company, uh, you may have, you may know that name, but doesn't look familiar. Uh, most of the silver streaks you see have a big gold stripe down the side of them. They're a little bit, little bit more boxy, but they're like a Twinkie shape. They're more Twinkie shape, and they were more popular in the '60s. That's kind of when their boom time was. But this is this is just before they introduced those those kind of models. So 1949 to 1997, that's when Silver Streak was around. El Monte, California is where they were all made distinct kind of different companies within that um but 1940 uh to 1949 there was a company called curtis wright trailers which you may have heard of may have not but that was kind of the just you know world war ii post-war period where there was a lot of aluminum riveted aluminum trailers kind of happening and people starting to figure out what to do because they had all this skill and material and didn't know what to do with it and there was a housing shortage so they figured out how to do that but Curtis Wright Trailers, a uh, new company started, Silver Streak, acquired to the rights to the Curtis Wright Clipper, which if you look those up, they're a pretty famous uh, trailer and they're identical to a Silver Streak Clipper because they bought the rights to the Clipper when they dissolved Curtis Wright. So one of the one of the guys that uh, that went off, uh, it was founded in nine, it was founded by three Curtis Wright employees uh, one went on actually to found Streamline in 1957, which Streamline looks same family of trailers. And, uh, but Silver Streak basically started as a company that made the Curtis Wright Clipper after Curtis Wright was gone. And so they, they kept the tooling, they kept the factory, they kept the employees, they kept everything and they just made that instead. But, uh, in 1946, the Clipper, uh, that I'm talking about, 46, was designed by Wally Byam. Airstream fame, you may have heard of Airstreams. Everybody in the world calls this an Airstream when they see it, and it drives me crazy. But he left in 47 to restart Airstream, and that's when Silver Street kind of started, and the Clipper, you know, was renamed and all of that. But the, uh, the jet came into production in 1957. It was kind of a small one, with or without bath, like I said, 2,400 pounds, about double insulated floor uh it's actually a better air better frame than airstream don't fight me and uh just a real cool trailer and uh there's some some neat neat things about it so this is a single axle this was the biggest you can get with a single axle and all the you know the windows are all louvered and all of that you got your serial number and your model which is 19 here that would have been your jet and you have your all your exterior plugs and outlets and you know all of your all of your stuff on that and your uh, yeah there's nothing exciting on that side but uh, the the actual vents here this is for your refrigerator and there's access panels for storage underneath the cool thing about this one that I really love is so you have your main door but then you actually have a secondary door with it that's a screen, but it's just a hard, hard frame part of your door screen. Really neat. We've used this on a couple trips now, and this is always a big winner. As soon as we park, that comes open. It just has these little safety clasps that hold it tight. So inside, 
not the biggest trailer in the world, but because it's round, you lose a little bit of space up in the tops, but since it's round, it kind of gives it a real cool feel too. The uh, kind of a submarine feel. And it, it's big enough, you know. So the uh, the front section over here has a drop down table. It's a, that's a bed. This folds down into a bed. Not click clack, you know, bed, but uh, but a, a folding bed. You got storage underneath, storage above, storage all over the place. Uh, propane lamp. You have your double sink here with cutting board tops, and that's just a hard line. There's no there's no tank system on this. Uh, there was, but I took it out. The uh, so now it's just a uh, straight water line hookup, like in short shore hookup, so to speak. You have your little propane stove here, and that runs with the propane lamp and your propane heater that's here and your propane dual refrigerator. And this is a, a full-size RCA Whirlpool fridge. I've actually put a tray and outlet tube into the bottom to make it a dual ice box too, so you can actually put ice blocks in it, which is what we usually do when we're boondocking. But you got your little closet, you got all your shelves, you got more storage, you got a bigger closet. Um, you have your main bed back here, which has storage underneath it. It's kind of a weird size in between a full and a queen, just too small for me and my wife. And so I added this little fold down, this little fold down pad that tucks in with the bed and extends it a little bit. And then it actually makes it just fine because our knees can kick over a little bit. And uh, it's foldable. I wouldn't just build that up solid, or I would if uh, I didn't have to get to the bathroom. So you have a bathroom here. Obviously the door doesn't open all the way with the bed frame, but that was original. So this is just what it is, you know, but the, the door frame, really small. And my wife's pregnant right now with her second daughter. Doesn't work very well. One of the deciding factors on why this is going is that and the fact that we got a, a German Shepherd recently and it's like a wildebeest in here. But so you have your little mini bathroom, kind of a galley bathroom. Like I said, everything in here is like metal other than the little door things. So. Uh, you have your toilet, which is, uh, you know, flush toilet. It doesn't have water hookups, so to speak, but it's got a, a drop, kind of like an airplane toilet. Um, you got your light in here. And then the floor is basined with a drain. So this actually works as a shower. Also, the whole thing, kind of a one-in. And then you got your sink over here with storage underneath and your fan and your medicine cabinet and all, all of that kind of, you know, stuff in there. But uh, small little bathroom, but it... it it's about as big as you can get in this trailer, but it's about as small as you can get and get everything in it. So this is actually like a really, really desirable size setup. It has everything in a real small package and it's really cute. And the uh, Silver Streak frames and bodies and everything are just really well made. These things last forever. I got a brand new axle underneath it with electric brakes. So that's all new, ready to go. Uh, all the, you know, the propane hookups work, all the electrical, all this stuff works. We're in a park right now, so we can't plug in, but you plug in your water, you plug in your power and you're good to go or don't. But either way, it's a really fun little trailer and uh, we, we've very much enjoyed it. Like I said, I thought it was gonna be our forever trailer, but there's just enough classicness on it to make everybody wanna stop and honk at this thing. So it's pretty fun. And uh, we towed around with our, our 66 F-250, my shop truck, and it goes fine. And uh, there's a video on that one too, if you want to see it. But anyway, I'm Justin. Until next time, see you guys.